Hello, uh, how's it going? Well, I hope. Cool, because today we're drawing crabs. <laughs> crabs. All right, we're back. We're drawing crabs today. Crab, 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 crab. Can you do this? <laughs> Only it took me a long time to learn how to do that. All right, cool. So today we're drawing crabs. Good thing about crabs is they're super easy, but actually everything is pretty super easy to draw. All you gotta do is we start with a circle. Remember, we start with these base shapes and build on them. So building on them is the key. So this is, we're gonna draw even like, you know, some other kind of circles. Today we're gonna draw, I'm like, I don't know. We're gonna draw this guy. All right, so circles for our friends, the crabs. The things that, I do whenever I'm drawing a crab is we need to make decisions about eyes, right? These are important decisions to make. We've got the crab here, and his eyes are on little stalks. So you could do like Sebastian from Little Mermaid or SpongeBob kind of things. However, I'm not exactly sure because I've never seen SpongeBob, but I think this is what I'm told. Anyway, you can have these kind of eyes, or you can have eyes like kind of little beady eyes. I'm going to go with the beady eye ones because I think they look cooler and also they look a little bit more like crabs uh, because crabs don't have whites with their eyes. They just kind of have this kind of shape. Um, you can even do it a little halfway there. Like, All right, cool. Eyes. So with, let's start with this guy here. So we're going to put, well, we have a couple different options, right? So we have, do we want him facing us or do we want him to the side? So this guy is going to be facing to the side, right? This guy is going to be facing us, All right? So you just figure out which way you want your crab to look, and then we're going to put the crabs that way. This guy, this crab is going to be doing like he's going down. Why is he going down? <laughs> we have no idea. We'll figure that out later. Hopefully it's for some fun reason. Okay, and this crab is gonna be, he'll be going this way. Just to like keep things in a nice little symmetry. All right, so now that we have our eyes, we're gonna, what's the next thing that crabs need? We need legs. So if this crab is going this way, you ain't gonna have some legs down here. And the legs are super easy. We just kinda just attach these guys like that. And because he's facing this way, you don't really need to draw the other set of legs because it could get like real confusing and it looks like a centipede and centipedes are not crabs. I don't think they're crabs. I don't think they're the same family. Anyway, for another day. Uh, but if he's looking at you, then, oh yeah, man, we got some crab legs here. Not like crab legs like you eat because those are much, much bigger. Uh, this guy, we can even put the crab legs up into the body, right? Uh, and this guy is gonna be I don't know, maybe he'll be swimming. And so his crab legs are all kind of facing backwards. Okay, cool. Now, another important thing about crabs, obs, is that you need some pinchers, the, this part. So let's see what we're gonna do here. We're gonna have this guy, the pinchers, handy dandy thing here. Pinchers are basically just a big C. There you go, pincher. So you can just have a C like this, and then have it go like that. Later on, we'll put in a joint here, just because this is this is the part that moves, uh, and then we'll we'll build it off like that way. So, but we will just do it like this. That beeping noise behind me is because the power goes out where I live in Lebanon. And the power goes out about eight times a day. Sometimes it comes back on, sometimes it doesn't. And we just are in the dark for a long time. And it's not always super fun. Especially because that beeping noise makes me crazy. All right, so we're gonna wanna have his arms coming down like this, right? So he's kind of got, we'll, we'll make those cooler here in a minute. And then what we want to do is we want to give him a mouth. 
So his mouth is like here, and like as always, you can put your mouth up high, it means one thing, low. We'll just kind of have him kind of just middle mouth crab. And then let's start, and what I like to do is I like to give him a little bit of extra lip there so we know he's talking about a mouth. Um, and then he can also be like, mm, I'm gonna stick my tongue out. Crabs don't traditionally have tongues, but they can today. All right, there we go. So he's got his tongue out. I don't have any idea why he's got his tongue out, but maybe he's got his tongue out because he's got something delicious up here. Also, we can just kind of make this shape here because it kind of, crabs generally kind of have this top part and whatever. Okay, so what does he have up here that is super delicious? Maybe it is a hot dog because if there's anything that a crab likes more is hot dog readiness. So he's got a hot dog. This crab is like, dude, I was walking along the beach and I found myself a hot dog. And I'm stoked about that. So he's like, he's carrying his hot dog. I'm gonna be out. All right, you can see that I've got my hot dog here, but and I put him inside my claws, like, so it's gonna rest like, whoop. So I'm not gonna be able to see this part and I'm not gonna be able to see this part. Cool, no big deal. Because why? Cool artists. Erase. All right, so we've got that there. And then also it's important that his eyes are not right at the edge. So right, they're at a pretty good spot right here. Okay, cool. Then actually he can have just like one front leg. All right, maybe, okay, cool. The, so he's, he's hungry, he's excited. Um, now let's put some more details on. We don't want his arms just to be straight like this. They're actually in joints and pieces. So let's just give some kind of like the hint of pieces here, cool. Here, gonna go up. And wherever the piece is, you just make a little jobber like that. All right, and we'll go back in and make that cooler. His eyes are also like that, so I kind of give them And then you can have it like this. Cool. Then, right on. This guy's, he's got it going on. We need some stuff in the hot dog, so we're gonna have like, you. this is like ketchup, and he's gonna have a big drop, boom, and he's gonna have a big drop of mustard here, and maybe that's why he's got his, his mouth right here, is that he actually has a big dollop of mustard right here that his girlfriend was like, hey, honey, you have a giant dollop of mustard on your face? And he's just like, no, I don't. And then he realized he did, so he just licks it. And um, it's kind of embarrassing. She's embarrassed for him because she's like, oh my gosh, I can't take you anywhere. And he's like, why? It's just mustard. It's how people eat. And she's like, you're not a people, you're a crab. And oh, gosh, maybe I've, seen, maybe I've had that experience before. Okay, now we're gonna give him little feet, right? Kind of just give it a little bit cooler thing here. Hey, all right. That one looks pretty good. Uh, all right, and then, well, we can also make little joints of his feet. Because what we do, remember, a thousand times if I've said it once, you start with a shape and then you just build and build and on the details. And then that should for sure help him. Okay, crab carrying a hot dog, super normal. Okay, the let's see, what else do we have going on here? This guy. Now we want to figure out what he's, where his arms are going to be. So I currently have a picture up here, so it's kind of hard to have a, his arms up this way. So we're going to have his arms be, let's see, one of them will be small because crabs, sometimes they get in fights and they lose their arms, which is kind of a bummer, right? Like that would suck if you lost your arm. Uh, but they grow back, and so good news. And uh, so he's, he got in a fight here. But this one's gonna be huge. He's gonna be like, whoa, I've got this giant. There's also a crab called the fiddler crab. And his crab, his his pincher is enormous. So this one is actually, you can see the the teeth on his on his pincher here. Which is, and this, I mean, they don't they don't mess around. So if you mess with crabs, like be careful if you run across a big pinchered crab. Alright. So 
apologize for my dog. The all right, so now this guy, we're gonna kind of give him some crabbiness. All right, similar deal. We got to figure out what to do with his mouth. Well, if he is got a fiddler, if he's a fiddler crab, maybe he needs to be fiddling. I don't know. Kind of, where can I put that in there? Maybe not a fiddle. Maybe he he's got like oh. Maybe it's not a fiddle that he has. Maybe he is a ninja crab. What, what, what on earth would a ninja crab look like? Whoa. Well, we once had ninja turtles. But having a ninja crab, it seems like, hey, Brady, that's crazy. You can't have a ninja crab. You're like, back off, man. There were ninja turtles. Like, what? that makes no sense. So I'm going to have a ninja crab because I can, playa. I will do that. And uh, so now we're going to have... The ninja crab here, who's got his, you know, his ninja outfit on. He's gonna have here his. Oh yes, you do not mess with this ninja crab. All right, and what does ninja crab have? He needs to have a sword because I forget which which turtle had swords. A Renaissance master of sorts, so either Donatello, I don't know who had it, I forget, it matters, not, so, he's holding his sword, all right, and this guy is, he's got, okay, cool, who you can see there, and uh, his sword is like, ah, it's just kind of bent here, why is it bent here, because they ran out of paper, <laughs> oh, oh, silly, okay, good, so this is just, we're going to, Give his mask like that. I'm gonna give him some over here. What does he got? Oh, oh, <laughs> yes, he has nunchucks. Oh man, well, of course he has nunchucks. Like that's the no oh, crabs with nunchucks. Like if I literally, if I saw a crab with nunchucks, I would just end. There's just no, there's no way I would be able to understand what my life had become if I'm like dude there is a crab and he's got nunchucks it's like that's it I'm gonna go home all right so we see how we did this when you're making nunchucks and planned on doing a nunchuck class but maybe in the future we will do martial arts weapons uh, so you just kind of give some shape to it they're kind of tubey and then so this guy's like a combo a combo 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 of two of the ninja turtles, right? Okay, so he's got this. He's gonna need to have his feet out, right? And then, but he's, he's just, he means business, right? Like, if you see this, if you see this crab, do not mess with this crab. And then, let's see, we're gonna, all right. He's pretty much done. Because he's also laying on the ground are his Ninja Stars! Dude, I used to try to use Ninja Stars. They are way harder than it seems like, in, because in the movies they're like, whack And whenever I would do it, they couldn't stick in anything. But anyway, maybe that's me, because I'm a very poor ninja. All right, there we go. Let's look at this next guy. He is going down. So, what is he doing? Oh, <laughs> clearly. Clearly, he is got his. You know what? How is that gonna go? He's gonna go. What type, oh yeah, he's he is got his C-shaped claw, his arm down like this. See, we're drawing it really light, really sketchy. We'll go in later and fill that in. And then he's got he's gonna be holding on to. What's he holding on to, friends? He's clearly riding a skateboard and he's going down hill all right so our skateboard we're just gonna draw here kind of the shape of a skateboard and then we've got our wheel here all right and then he's got his feet but he should probably have shoes on because when you skateboard you need to wear shoes so he's got some vans 
You guys know what Vans are? Vans, super cool shoes. Whenever I wanted to be a skater, however, I was a terrible skater, but I wore their shoes because I wanted people to think that I was a skater. All right, so we've got, he's, man, he is just tearing down this. Is he in the air or is he riding down? I think maybe he's, I think he's, I think he's riding it. So we're gonna have this guy here because we're gonna probably need to draw some ground. And he's just like, wow. He's just flying, you know, and, and his face is like, look, what? He's got some, he's got some eyebrows because you know why? We're drawing, we can do whatever we want. And uh, he's, and his mouth is saying like, right, he's got, when you want to have like a good, like good mouth, right? So you can have like straight mouth, you can have the mouth, a smiley mouth, or if you want to draw worried, you go boo, 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 boo. like, I don't, I get worried a lot. I don't know that my mouth does that, but maybe it does. So we've got worried mouth. Here we go. He is like flying down this. Let's see. He also needs. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, we're gonna draw his little. If you're, if you're fancy, you call this a carapace. We're gonna draw his carapace, which is the top part of his shell. But you only say that if you're fancy or if you're Miss Jackson and you're nasty. Uh, all right, here we go. So, got this guy. He's holding on for dear life because maybe he got on that hill and he thought, hey, I've seen a video game on how to ride skateboards. I think I should be able to do that. And he gets on a giant hill and he goes and he falls down that hill and he almost breaks his arm and skids it like on his back in front of everybody at school. Maybe I've done that before. Maybe that's a true story where I thought, hey, I've seen people play Tony Hawk video games and I, I imagine I should be able to do that. And I just hopped on a board, went crazy downhill, and this is kind of my face until I went kasplat. And then I was in front of all kinds of adults and people. Granted, I was an adult at the time. This wasn't like a childish thing to do. This was something that you did whenever you're an adult and should know better. At least that's what my wife said. But I had a good time doing it. I'm gonna clean this guy up. Cool. Last one. Crab again. What's this guy doing? He's got his feet. If we're saying, hey, I'm just kind of going that way. So I'm gonna give him a little bit of a mouth here. What is he? Apologize for my ridiculous dog. The eyes. Maybe he's going to be... Mm, ooh, okay, I see. I see what's happening here. He is gonna be supermanning, and he's flying because he's a flying crab. I don't know why. Have you ever wondered to yourself, look, here's the deal. You're Superman, right? You can do what Ever the mess you want. You can fly, you can shoot stuff with your eyes, you're super strong, but when you fly, you've got to have your hand outstretched like this. And so, I'm actually going to probably fix that. The, his arm is a little too bent, so I actually want it to be more straight. And so he's going to be, actually, I'm going to put, I'm going to make it the other side because I don't want it his arm to be in the way of his face. So he's gonna be like, -doo, you know, and then he is a super crab flying because man, the world will have become a very odd place when crabs start flying. So, all right, so he's flying and then this one is, he's gonna have it on his hip because he's just a sassy crab. And uh, there we go, sassy crab. And he's, oh man, he looks like he means business, right? And he's just, okay, cool. And he's, he's flying, he's got his hand on his hip. He's going this way, but how do we know he's flying? And he's gonna be like, he, no, he's not worried. He is, he's not angry, so maybe we're just gonna leave off eyebrows. No eyebrows for the crab. And then he's gonna have a cape, and it's gonna be, you know, blowing right into 
into the next episode. All right, and oh man, and he's gonna have like super, super crab, which is also SC, which can stand for serious creatures. What product placement uh, also can stand for like, you know, superior calisthenics, which is also important in these days and age. You must get your exercise. Uh, so this guy is, oh man, he's having a good time. He's got this thing tied around his, because his neck, but it's tough to have your things tied around a neck when you're a crab. You don't really have a neck, but it's cool. We're not gonna be worried about that. All right, um, oh man, that guy means business. All right, cool. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to finish these guys out. I'm gonna color them, so enjoy the coloring montage, and uh, I'll be back in just a second. All right, so we're done coloring. We have our hot dog eating crab, stealer crab, haram, or oh, that, that's Arabic for bad. Uh, we've got a ninja crab, which is so exciting because competing with the ninja turtles, radical skateboarding crab, super crab. If you liked these, hope you had a good time learning, and I please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and tell all your friends. Bye.